What up guys, Tech Tutorials here, back with another video. Today I'm going to show you how to get many types of themes. Like, you're not going to go to City and download all these types of themes. You're going to literally have all these themes created for you. And uh, the iNav, the Boxer, the Windows 7 themes, the um, Windows 7 Mobile themes, the Mac OS X, the Android themes that you always wanted to download on your iPod Touch. And you keep on having to change your iPod Touch and you like one theme and you like the other theme and you just don't know which one to choose from. Uh, if you actually get understand my my interview or whatever I just said, then you'll understand this video, and I'll tell you what this is. Now, this is this is my original iPod Touch. I'm gonna go over to Dreamboard, okay? And I'll teach you. How, I'll I'll show you how to download that soon. This is the main part of my the video is that it has different types of theme, and it's been created for me. It's not like I created this and I saved the snapshot and it'll be in here. And when I click on it, it's gonna load it up. As you see, it says preparing theme. It does it for me. Now, this theme is called Boxer HD. This is compatible with Dreamboard. And there's a theme that says Boxer HD for Dreamboard. Okay? And as you see, if I scroll over, I have all these sick, sick uh, things that they're all functional. Every single one of them are functional. If I cl click on camera on this one, it's, fu it's functional, okay? Okay, I took a picture of some black shit. Alright. Uh, they all work. And it's not like I created all these. I did not go to apps and literally had to do this. All all I had to do is just download the theme, open it up, and it's been created. Like, it just looks fascinating and awesome. And to go back to the Dreamboard settings, I have to, I'll have to just click that button. And I'll go to any other themes that I've installed manually. Only one thing, one theme that comes for demonstration is the... Android theme. I don't know why they named it like that, but it's the Android theme, and they have this ta crappy Dreamboard sign over here. But this looks really nice too. And if you click this, it brings it up as a original Android theme. Okay. Uh, I've also installed Windows 7. It looks really nice. It it gives you the real feeling. Of, like honestly, like it just it just gives you that feeling of having. A Windows 7 and you don't have to literally create anything like uh, you don't have to go to Windows 7 and go to grid buy, download gridlock or blank I blank and make your own blank icon and keep on changing your iPod as you see my iPod is gone to safe mode you gotta restart that uh, you don't have to create any blank iPod or anything it just it'll, it'll happen just off the bat and all you have to do is download it it'll do it for you and you could also edit it by holding and click edit uh, I'll show you Mac OS X and then I'll tell you how to download G uh, Dreamboard. This is just a demonstration. See, I'm back to Windows 7. Alright, now this is so nice. Like, honestly, like if I click on anything, it will literally... As, uh, click on camera again. If I click on anything, it will just literally go back. Computer. Looks nice. It's not like it's not like you see any blank icons or anything. And I click on apps, more things pop up. But it's a faded type transition. Go back to Dreamboard and I'll show you the Mac OS X. Right here. Snow Leopard, I'm not going to edit it, but I'm going to click on it. This is the Mac OS X, it's preparing theme. It has been prepared. Uh, look at this, my computer. This looks really fascinating, right? Uh, what else? Apple logo, finder, file, edit, search. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't know, this just had a feeling. I, like, I don't see no blank icons and... It just sort of set it up like perfectly. Like honestly, I actually like this, and this will save you a lot of space. Like literally, it'll save you a lot, lot of space. If you want to know how to make your iPod Touch really, really fast, like to the maximum speed, visit this video right here in the in the annotations right here. Visit that right here, and. There will also be there will also be another one right here. Click on any. I don't really give a shit. And if you want to make your iPod Touch really fast, that will teach you. And it's a, it's a tweak, and it doesn't drain your iPod or anything. Now I'll just go back to my original iPod to literally just show you. I'll go to Cydia, and I'll download Dreamboard. I'm gonna let it load up. And the repo that you need is uh, insanelyi.com. So uh, Dreamboard. I'll put the first repo that I put in the description. Remember this, okay? The first repo that I put in the description will be uh, the best one. The second one will be second best. The third one will be 
unrecommended but it's still good the one that I use is from iPhone nerd the repo will be the first one but the one that I'm using at the moment is from Exilies Exilies that will be in the bottom too and these are the themes that are compatible as you see rain and the other ones that I've downloaded only there's more themes that come with it if you download the iPhone nerd uh, repo but make sure to download have like all the repos if you want to as you see if I go to my sources and I have all these well I have the main ones if I click edit add this is how you add a repo alright uh, that's basically it and I showed you how to download Dreamboard Dreamboard is the real functionality to give you that theme look to give you a nice look to give you that brand new experience with the iPod touch and have many success with it and have your theme and that's about it I'm done a six minute video presentation thanks for watching subscribe bye bye